Good morning, my name is James Watson. I'm the Congregational Pastor at North Hills. Believing what God says in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land. Today, we pray that God's revival will come. We're looking out over the city of Vallejo here. It's one of my favorite spots on the campus of North Hills, the Three Crosses, as we look out over the, the, the valley of, of Vallejo. And really, our heart goes out to this city. We love this city, and we want to see it transformed by the power of the gospel. We desperately want to see revival come. So join me this morning as we pray that revival would come. Maybe start here in the city of Vallejo, spread out through the United States, and go to the ends of the earth. Father God, we come before you humbling ourselves, as your word says, acknowledging that we have sinned against you. And Father, we do not do the things we ought to do. Father, we don't pray like we ought to pray. We don't worship like we ought to worship. We don't follow your ways like we ought to. Father, we just want to say we believe that you can do immeasurably more. Father, we come before you. We humble ourselves. And Father, we pray that you would bring revival in the land. Father, we pray for a revival that would start in each one of our hearts as you turn and transform each one of us through the power of the gospel. Father, I pray that you would kindle in our hearts a desire to love you with all of our hearts, our soul, and our mind. Father, that you would kindle in us a desire to love our neighbors as ourselves. Father, we believe that revival doesn't start in big things, but it starts in the little things. Father, in the day-to-day -day choices that we make as we choose to follow you more and more. Father, give us hearts after your heart. Father, break our hearts for what breaks your heart. Father, give us a passion to share the gospel with people in our community. Father, in our workplaces, in our schools, in our neighborhoods. Father, even in our own families, for those who have families, family members who don't know Jesus. Father, I pray that through all of this, we would just turn our hearts to you. Father, we pray for our great nation as we think about uh, the, the United States. Father, we've gotten away from following your ways. Father, I pray that we would start as a church, desperately seeking your face. Father, calling on your name that you might heal our nation. But Father, we know that it doesn't start at the, the government, the national level. It doesn't start at the state level or even at the local level. It starts in the churches. So Father, we pray that you would transform North Hills by the power of the gospel, that people's lives would be changed, that marriages would be saved. Father, that, that addiction would be overcome. Father, all of these things, we're asking that you would, that you would just bring that peace in our church. Father, we wanna be a church that loves you with our whole heart. We wanna be a church that, that obeys your word because, Father, we believe that if we follow your word, Father, that will lead to revival. So help us, Father, to do our part. But we know that it's all up to you. Father, help us to, to yield to what you want to do. Help us to follow you as you lead us into places we never thought we'd go. May you be glorified through your church as we humble ourselves and pray. Father, as we seek your face. Father, as we turn from wicked ways and father we pray that you would hear from heaven that you would forgive our sin you would heal our land and you would bring revival and we will give you all the glory honor and praise in jesus name amen